absolutely it's video because I think that we need to make a connection with people. So if you're just making a post on Facebook or making a post on Instagram, it's going to do massive things for your business. And you have to remember that. I also think that there's more opportunity because of what has happened in the digital marketing world. Hey there, are you ready to be fired up? Because I sure am. I have powerhouse Alicia Collins here from Wyoming and a little Casper, Wyoming. And she does just under 300 transactions a year. Yes, she is in the top 0.000% of agents across the country. Alicia, how are you? I'm fantastic. I always get embarrassed when you say that. Well, it's true. Alicia's, Alicia's a rock star. <laughs> I was just yelling at her son saying, you need to do what your mom does because you can't have the money until you do the work. Okay. So yes. we're going to be asking Alicia, like what she's doing in what she's doing in her business, like really breaking down what's working right now, what she's seeing the most success from in her business. All right. So Alicia, Alicia's one of my um, students. She's in my coaching program. She's been in it for four years. Alicia, talk to me about four and a half. Four and a half. It's been four. You're like, like one of the original. I am. Okay. So tell me a little bit sure. about what what um what you're doing right now in your business and i'll ask the other questions later what are you doing right now in your business that you're seeing the best results with well absolutely it's video because i think that we need to make a connection with people so if you're just making a post on facebook or making a post on instagram and it's just a picture of you i think those have it their place but th that doesn't really get people to understand you to know you to like you to trust you they don't they don't get that if they, I don't know how many times because of, you know, like YouTube videos, TikTok, Facebook, all the things, people think they know me before they even meet me. So I walk into that appointment or I go to the first, um, you know, first meeting with them and they think we're besties. Okay. So break it down for me. So let's just say, you know, first of all, can you talk to most people are definitely afraid of video. Can you talk a little bit about like, speak to that? you know, the, the normal people being scared. I do. I, I do think, I think that's a problem, a problem for a lot of people. My son is one of them and I'm the one that, I mean, I'm doing video all the time. So he is still afraid. I'm trying to work him in it, but uh, he, he just got his license, everybody. That's why um, we're talking about him. But anyway, so I think you have to push past it. And one of the ways that helped me push past it is I'm driving down the street. I'm not, I'm not promoting that you do this, that you do this with your, you know, you're looking at your camera. I'm not telling you to do that, but you kind of like hook it on your vent or whatever. And you just talk into your phone, you have it on record and you are driving and talking. And it really, it sounds silly, but it really helped me get past that fear of saying the wrong thing, because the more you practice, the more you do. And I'm, and you don't even have to post that. So I think that's a good way to start you know, getting over that fear. And the other thing you have to remember is nobody cares. I mean, seriously, right? No, nobody cares. No, I mean, there are going to be people that say nasty things on social media because that's who they are. But in the scheme of things, the benefit outweighs the risk. And so you have to take that risk. You have to take that leap. And it's going to do massive things for your business. And you have to remember that. Um, there's, and then I think the other, the other piece of this to help you get over that fear is when you are in the mode of doing videos, you just keep doing them. And that helps me. I do a lot of batch recording, whether it's TikTok or YouTube or Facebook or whatever I'm doing, I do a ton of that. And so you want to always um, keep going when you're in that, when you're in that place. Yeah. So give some, give some suggestions. Um, on the different types of videos that you, so I'm a brand new agent. I've never sold a house before, or maybe I'm, I've just moved to a new area, or maybe I'm actually like you and you came to the coaching program. You're already doing over a hundred homes a year, right? You're like, you're around 117 ish, I think, give or take. Yeah. Now, after four and a half years, you're up to just under 300 homes. Can you explain a little bit about that? Like what kind of videos are you doing? Let's, let's, let's start with there. Okay. So for 100% sure, the reason I am where I am today is because of video. And I had kind of started to dabble in it before you popped across my screen, but I didn't really know how to distribute it and really how far to go. So when you, um, so what I did, so that's, that's why I'm where I am today. So I started just by doing what you said, Facebook videos, 
um, and I distributed them properly. I really did. Um, I just kept doing that. Then after I mastered, she's so cute. After, after I mastered the Facebook piece, um, and those were probably like two minutes ish, um, or less. I, at the beginning of COVID, I went, started doing YouTube and those were longer videos about my area. And I don't know what made me start doing that. Um, you know, somebody I knew had, had done it, but I, I still didn't like, I don't know what made me go all in on that, but I did. And I started getting leads probably about, I don't know, four or six months in. And it was because of COVID and people were moving around. So I just got lucky, started at the right time. Those videos are different because those are like about Casper and, you know, pros and cons and why you would live in the rural, why would you live rural, um, parks. Um, I mean, I, all, tips for this, tips for that. I mean, I, I'm always trying to think of something else and some of them overlap each other, but that's okay. Um, and then recently I just started doing like short form and those are about, I don't know, I don't do anything that's 15 seconds, probably because I talk too much, but those are probably 30 seconds or longer. And again, that's something that's changed my business, that short form, because it can go into so many places. So we, 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 you taught us to repurpose. So we use that all over the place. I mean, stories, reels, and, and they all come from the TikTok. So sometimes I do take um, other videos and crop them down, like um, from YouTube, I'm going to put the, those on TikTok or Facebook, I put on TikTok or whatever. And I just want to put something out. A brand new agent can do this, right? Um, and I know that you're Absolutely. worried about like, oh, you know, I'm afraid of it. I don't, I don't know what to say or I don't have knowledge. Go and do some research. Go watch a training. Go talk to your broker and then record uh, a video on it. Any of that kind of stuff will absolutely work, okay? So, okay, so you're, you're doing videos of your community. You're doing best dog parks in town, best places to eat. Mm -hmm. Um, you're comp comp comparing and contrasting neighborhoods, comparing and talking about seller tips, talking about buyer tips, marketing, mm -hmm. uh, real estate marketing updates, neighborhood marketing updates. Like you're just constantly, you know, something happens throughout your day in, in a transaction. You're doing a video on it. I see you do that all the time too. Yep. So that's one of the things that we have to train our brain to do. And I've just recently done it because of all the short form, because the short form, you have to do more of them, right? So, um, what I do is I just started thinking, okay, something happens. Oh my gosh, that's the best video. And maybe I'm not in the mood to record it or whatever. I put it in a note notes in my phone. I just, I mean, I have so many ideas. So then when I'm on, on that day, I can just go through them. And it's shocking how quickly your brain catches on to, oh my gosh, that's a video. Oh my gosh, that's a video. At the beginning, it doesn't. You have to like constantly be um, reminding yourself, what, what do I see? What do I see? And then it, it's a shift and it is awesome because the ideas that I get now are unbelievable. You were kind of talking about that this morning on today's coaching call before the coaching call started. I only caught a glimpse of it. So explain a little bit that a little bit more deeper. So let's say, I mean, let, let's say you're negotiating repairs and the seller doesn't pay for a roof and the buyer backs out. That is a perfect video. Um, Absolutely. You go to an, uh, here's another one. And I think this could be buyer and seller. So um, you miss the inspection date as a buyer. And you just took that property in as its condition and it needs about $10,000 of repairs. Yeah. So that could be a buyer video and a seller video. So I'm going to record them both at the same time. And then I'm going to wait to post the other one. And so um, I do a lot of that, um, that because I'm batch recording, I can kind of spread it out. So it's not, you know, the same. Are you afraid though, like when you're in a transaction, you're like, Hey, this just happened that the seller or buyer might get mad. So do you just do that? And then maybe play it later. Yes. Two weeks yeah. later. With that. Yeah. Yeah. So I had one with raccoon poop in it <laughs> and a house with raccoon poop. So obviously I'm not going to post that one in the middle of the deal. I'm going to wait till later. Yeah. It was I record funny. it though. What I find is record like, it. Yes. it's like yes. when record I have it. an inspiration, like look at me right now, I don't look right now. I went to the gym this morning, had a coaching call. I don't have makeup on, but just... you and I, no, I do not. But anyway, so you and I, I was like, let's, let's do this, this podcast. Right. What I find is if I just, when I'm excited about something or something happens and I'm really in a moment, it's the best time for me to record because that's when I have the emotion and the memory and it's just easier. So don't worry about what you look like. Don't worry about if it's perfect. You know, I, I you just do, just do, do, do. Mm -hmm. And you know what? There's filters on everything. So use a filter if you don't. I mean, I've, I've used the filter where, where it puts mascara on your eyes. Like who cares? I should so, do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, 
the emotion is what grabs people because mm -hmm. you become authentic. And so I, and that, which is a really another important thing, right? Authent authenticity. If you Yourself. are different when somebody meets you, they're not going to trust you. I am the same day in, day out. You're going to get the same thing. I might be more edgy one day than the other, but the edgy ones where I'm like annoyed sometimes on these videos because something didn't go the way that it should have, because, you know, I don't know, we can't control people. Those are the ones that like shine. And those are the ones that get, well, the nasty comments too. I mean, and that's what helps you get sometimes. I remember last week, remember Krista? Yes. Last week, it, um, early in the week, I was kind of down in the dumps because people had like hammered me on TikTok. I mean, I'm not even kidding. Yes. Like, and I remember you, you, you said to me, well, then you can't do social media. And I'm like, well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Suck it up. Alicia. Yeah. So you have to, you have to, I mean, sometimes you have to guard yourself as far as those don't read them or, um, use unless, them. Hey, unless you have haters, you haven't hit the mark. So don't worry about, don't worry about, um, about haters because you're, you're going to have them and it's not a bad thing. But the, you could, tw you could, you could flip it, right? You could say, okay, how can I make that into a video? So I did that last week. And that's the other thing that, that I think is really important to note. People are going to copy you. Some of them are going to copy word for word in your own market. And I'm in a really small market. We have 60,000 people. So I used to get mad about it. And I used to, you know, kind of sit and wallow and complain. So now I just turn it into, into fuel to go harder. So I might make another video or three more videos that day and post them because that person, instead of getting, getting myself all upset, I'm going to use it as fuel to go harder. Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. So talk now about, um, um, you know, so what was life like before? So, you know, when you, when you came to me four and a half years ago, and again, you saw results pretty dang quick. Um, but what, what was, what were you doing back then? What was business like then? Like kind of talk to me about like, where were you at in, in, in life and business? And if you even remember, it's been a while. Well, and I feel like it is hard to remember, right? Because we, we feel like we've been where we are forever. Yeah. Um, I for sure didn't have the money I have. Um, and, you know, I know for a fact that having, having that money does give you some leverage. And I think that sometimes it does equate to being more happy because you can do more things with your life and with your family. Um, I do think that I worried more about it. I still, I, I, I grew up you know, with no money. So, um, I still, it's probably something that still holds me back from even making more. Um, and so I worried a lot about it before four and a half years ago, definitely worried about money. Um, I worry about it less. I still worry about it, but, um, but way less. And there's things that I get to do with my family that I couldn't do before. Um, you know, we're about ready to go on a trip to, um, St. George Island, uh, in Florida with one of my best friends that I met in your program. Um, I, uh, that said best friend, I actually own a house right next to hers in Georgia. She bought a new um, house too. So she bought a new house. Also, you had a goal to have a certain amount of money in the bank. And yep. I know you made that goal as well on top yep. of buying a rental and being able to vacation yep. and doing all these mm -hmm. fun things. Yep. What was, what was different about business then compared to now, would you say? I think it's harder now. Um, I think that there's more competition, um, everywhere. And you always say this, it doesn't matter where you live. There's whether it's small town, big town, it's all the same. And it's true. Um, I think there's a little more drama involved. Um, and it might be because there's more money involved because, you know, the pr prices have definitely gone up, but I also think that there's more opportunity because of what has happened in the digital marketing world. And you have a choice. You either get on that bandwagon or you might not be on, on the wagon at all. Yeah. You know, like, I think that it is something we have to do as real estate agents. We have to offer something that markets houses to the masses. And I was thinking about it the other day. I think one of the things that I've gained in your program is kind of different than what you said, but well, no, not really. So I know before I was good, but I didn't know I was good. So I can go into a listing appointment and know for sure that I'm the best person for the job. And I don't think I had that confidence before. I don't know why, because I did good business, right? But I'm very good at this. And, I'm, and I think that, that when, when, we, when you feel that in your soul, then you can capitulate it better to the seller and they take that as confidence to them. Um, 
So tell I me don't. what you're doing that. May, so why, why do you, why do you now finally know that you're the best person? Like, what are you doing differently than your competitors? How, and how can you say that to the seller? So what's the, per, I, I get all the percentages messed up if I'm not looking at them, but there's a percentage of people that 69% or whatever walk through a house that they've seen online. And I think that in this market, even though it's bananas, it's changing. 60, but so according know. to the National Association of Realtors, 67% of the buyers will walk through a home that they see online. That's what she's referring to. Okay, 67. I was too off. Pretty good. Um, so that I think that if the market's hot or the market's not, you have to market the ho your house to the masses. And I think that marketing- You're also marketing, marketing yourself too. You're not just marketing the house, you're right. marketing yourself. It's like right. you're, you're advertising but yourself too. Seller really doesn't care you're advertising yourself, right? So, so they want to advertise their house. And I think the marketing piece just plugged it all in for me. Like it just made it. So wait a second. I have this great service that I'm providing. I am knowledgeable about the market. I'm knowledgeable about the house. I'm knowledgeable about digital marketing. Um, I've spent a bunch of money on digital marketing. So I know what works and what doesn't. And I'm constantly spending more money to see if something else works. Right. And so I think that that piece of it just really comes off as, that confidence that, that I can get their home marketed. And I think that it, we got to get the most eyes on a house in the least amount of time. Mm -hmm. And if this market taught us anything else, it taught us that it taught, no, it taught the consumer that if your house isn't gone in four days, then you're not going to sell it. Right. Yes. And yes, so yes. as the market shifts, we we're going to have to figure out a way to make sure that those people understand that that's not going to happen a and b we're still going to market it just like we did whether it was hot or not mm -hmm. we we mm -hmm. have a video that we send to sellers that shows that we on average sell our homes oh god was it 18 percent more than our competitors so we we average 166 thousand dollars more for our our sellers uh -huh. um in, in what we're selling the homes for our competitors because of our highly comprehensive digital marketing strategy, because we know how to target and retarget and get the home out to the masses the right way. So you said something really important. I think everyone really needs to understand. And I, and I think that there's a strategy behind video marketing and there's also properly distributing it because it does, it's not enough just to record a video. Um, can you get into that a little bit? Um, yes. You have to know what to do with it after you record it, because I think a lot of people record post, forget it. They just assume that they just hope the algorithm algorithm is going to grab it and make it viral. It doesn't happen. And it dang sure doesn't happen on um, Facebook and Instagram. It's pay to play. So how are you going to get that video out to the masses? And the only way to do it is through advertising. And the only way to do it is to retarget. And if you don't know that piece, I think it makes it harder for you to compete against somebody who does. Not because, think it absolutely does. And, oh yeah, oh, I always say I think. There, zero yes, I to less than zero to two percent of organic videos are seen. So right now, if you're recording videos and you're just posting on your personal page and posting on your business page, how the algorithm works is it only puts your video in front of people who are already interacting with you. So that's like you and I are besties. I comment on yours, like you comment on mine. So Facebook goes, oh, they knew each other. Let's put some of their content, and it doesn't even show them all. The only right. you are twenty-six percent or something. Yes. Your goal as an agent is to get everyone in the community to see you over and over and over again. As Alicia said, you have to pay to get people to pay attention. You need to run ads, not just boosting. Boosting is not enough. You need to run ads. You need to target people and you need to retarget people. Okay, awesome. Um, what else? What else? What else? So talk to me now a little bit about people like, oh, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to say. Give different examples of how you come up with content and things to talk about. So it's definitely it's definitely it being in the transaction. Oh, my earbud. Well, what about new agents that are, like they're not they're not in a transaction? How do I get them, or how no. do I? How, how, what, what's your advice to like them? Oh, I I think I mean first of all, if you're brand new, you probably should be shadowing somebody, yeah. and that shadowing should give you the the content to talk about. Mm -hmm. I think that one of the biggest things you can do, like you said, you go talk to your broker about some specific thing. Not only did you just get content, but you just learned something. And I think that's the biggest thing. I, I, I take my agents with me every time I can. They need to learn how I'm talking. And so if you have, I think that's, there, that there is something huge about being on a team because you have somebody who teaches you everything they know. And I had that. 
um, and, and then you just have to keep learning. But um, one of the examples I like to give about learning something from someone is Lindsay. And when she, she just walked in on half of this. So she, um, so when she came to me, she could not close a deal. And she's a transaction coordinator. So it's not like she went with me everywhere. Yeah. She does about, she does about 25 houses a year on her own, maybe 30. And people call her because she's been in the business so long and we're, you know, always together. And so anyways, now just by listening to me in the office, she can close a deal. Yeah. She can train somebody how to close a deal because, mm -hmm. and she's, she actually, she just had her sixth anniversary with us. And I think that that just shows you the power of being around people that you can learn from. And you got to be, you know, you got to push yourself by the people you surround yourself with. My, my mentor, Russell Brunson, he's the one that helped me win all these awards. He says, ask who, not how, right? Ask who, I not how. That. Who can help you? Yeah. Also, you can also go on to Google, go to Google, type in mm -hmm. how to sell a house. And then all these questions are going to come up. You can yep. also go to answerthepublic.com. That will give you, uh, you can type a question and it will give you hundreds of questions that people ask. Google is the number one search engine. It will show you what people are searching. Do content from the questions people are asking. Try to make it hyper local and hyper specific. Think about what are people, what questions are people asking in your communities? Um, what what are people excited about? What is what is prolific? What's happening in your neighborhood or your your city that people are happy about? What's happening? People are mad about. Be a reporter, right? You learn something, go mm -hmm. report it. Uh, you know, report back what you're learning. There's so many content ideas and every time you get an idea, write it down or immediately do, do the content. Okay, we got to wrap up here because I need, we need to help with your Facebook ads, but I wanted to say, to say this. When you were struggling, because I know learning something new is hard. When you were struggling, how did you get past? And really quickly, give us some background. So you were at, you know, just over 100 homes a year. Now you're at just under 300, right? I mean, that's a huge, huge difference. And you didn't pick up like a big, huge, you know, development. This is like one single homeowner, homeowner yep. at a time. And you always talk about how someone that you met like 20 years ago will give you a deal. And then that deal turns into nine more. And you're in, like, the referrals are increasing now, way more referrals, way more repeat business because you're top of mind. So you have to stay top of mind. That's what I was going to say. Like you have to be there, even if you know those people, you, you still have to know. So what you're referring to is when I first started in the program, um, there was a woman that I uh, worked at the Chamber of Commerce with 20 years ago or something. Well, not 20, like 15 years ago. And her daughter was of the age to buy a house. And she saw me on Facebook, you know, giving information out. And she's like, I know, I know you're the one that needs to help her. Now that girl has now given me six deals. Yeah. And that is powerful. It's there's power in this video. I'm telling you what, it's not just to get new people. It's to like, make sure that the old people remember you. And even if they don't comment, they're watching you. I mean, I just got a video of somebody I sold the house to about five years ago. And she um, texted me and said, Hey, we're ready to sell our house. And Oh, by the way, I've watched every single one of your TikToks. And she never, ever liked them. She didn't comment, but she watched all of them. And so oh. you never know who's watching. It's so, so true. I love it. I love it. Okay, Alicia, thank you so much for your time. I always say you, always. you're going to end with one piece of advice, personal business, whatever that might be. What would that one piece of advice be? Do one thing at a time, learn one new thing at a time, and then add something else. And you just keep doing it. That is where, that's why I'm where I am today. You got to implement, right? Everybody, oh my God, Alicia Collins from Casper, Wyoming. Uh, Alicia, thank you so much. I hope you were just fired up just like I was. And thank you so much for your time, people. It means so much to me that you are here watching. And uh, again, remember, implementation is key. We have a three-day boot camp coming up. It's virtual. It's less than the price of a couple cups of coffee. Go to kristamasher.com forward slash boot camp podcast. That's kristamasher.com forward slash boot camp podcast. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.